Talking with Bob Mata right now, defense attorney from the podcast Defense Diaries about the case, Gypsy Rose. I, I don't know. I, I, I found one other point on this uh, rather disturbing, and I'm not accusing him of anything, but it, it's just, it's weird. It's a weird parallel, and that would be the husband uh, who had been uh, a special uh, ed, uh, special uh, education teacher uh, for quite some time, uh, you know, working with kids that that had disabilities. Uh, yeah. When you walk away from from watching Mommy Dead and Dearest, the documentary, which is the one he said he watched and uh, is the one that made him want to contact Gypsy Rose, I don't know anyone other than this guy and apparently many others that we're learning about too who walked away going, mm, she's, she's something, she's cute, she's hot, or whatever he's, the way he's describing it. She was portrayed for what she was at that moment in time, a disabled child in a wheelchair. There was, yeah. it, it was not, it, it wasn't the, the act, which did go into a lot more kind of a sexual type portrayal of her. Um, right. But this was not that. And if you're walking away from that and you're going, I'm going to write her and you, you have, and he also kind of wish washed a, a little bit going, I was just writing the letter because I, my friend and the tiger King wanted to communicate that, that that's kind of justifying what he did and why he did it. And then he goes into this whole thing of it that I, I asked her some questions and I talked about myself on the whole other part of the letter. I'm sorry. There's something weird about that. You work with, with special needs children and you are attracted to a woman who is portrayed in that documentary as a special needs child. Right. That's a huge red flag. Huge. It, it, it is. It's a huge red flag. It's not part of this fairy tale love story. It's it's right. gross. It's sick, and it, it's pretty screwed up. And at the end of the day, they're all adults, uh, you know. But it, it still, that to me was just gross uh, the way that 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 this has been expressed. But again. It, it, you see them on the view. You see them over here and there. And, oh, girl, isn't this great? No, it's not. This is sick. There's something wrong. And she needs help. And, and this is not help. Uh, I agree, man. Um, I, I like, like, there's like his, I, I just, his motives aren't pure. No. Like, I, like, there's no, there's no other way. Like, like on top of what you just talked about in terms of like, if, if like his mindset is there in terms of like, I am attracted to this, it, like theoretically a you know disabled young lady uh whether it be physically mentally whatever the yeah. case may be like how she was portrayed in in that particular uh in that particular documentary or, or you know he realizes that she got a 10 year bid he realizes that she's going to become famous from this mm -hmm. And there's a money motivation there. Yeah. I mean, we can't we can't pretend like this guy didn't realize that. Yeah. You know, I mean that that is like either way, or if it's a combination of both, it's grotesque. It is. You know, and, and it's like, and I like it's stripping away my my doubts about you know whether or not she was complicit with Dee Dee mm -hmm. towards you know in the later part of you know her her teen years, you know, and and, and again. We have to like we're forced to assume that everything that that she's telling us about being chained to the bed and the the handcuffs mm -hmm. and the dog leash that that's true. I mean, like, there's no one here on this planet that can refute it, mm -hmm. you know. But but we, what we do know is that this kid was put in a an abusive lifestyle for the entirety of her life, mm -hmm. you know. Like so, you know, whether she became complicit. You know, like the question becomes, was that, like I said earlier, was that yeah. by her own will or was it her will was overborne by her mother? You know yeah. what I mean? It was just, it was pounded into her. It's like, like I was telling Allison, I like, I don't even know if you remember that show, The Riches, like it okay. was about like an Irish traveler family and they were all con men, you know, like the kids were born into it. The kids all understood it the kids understood that that's how they lived and they, you know, they were all like, I, I don't know if this was that I, I just don't, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, like there there's like, I, I kept trying to, to make timelines and try to figure out, okay, well, you know, she's got the eye thing early on. And then like, like when, like when do the doctor appointments, like when does Dee, Dee figure out that she can get SSDI and yeah. like she's good, like going to parlay this thing into a way that she never has to work. 
you know, and at what point did like, is she having genuine real conversations with, with Gypsy about, all right, look, I, I know this sucks. I know that this is not the way that you want to be living right now, but like, if you want to keep like living the way that we are with the trips and the yeah. money and you being kind of famous, this is what we have to do, yeah. you know? And, and at what point does, does Gypsy realize, Oh my God, like if, if I keep going with this, there's no end game to mm-hmm. it, you know? Yeah. And, and like, tell, you know what I mean? And like, like I am not willing to do this for the rest of my life, but if I, if I don't figure out how to get out of it now, I may be stuck in it, sure. you know, and and if I'm not like, like how long do I have to play this game? Can it, will there ever be a day where if I just keep going along with this, where yeah. I'm just going to be able to stand up in my wheelchair and be like, okay, sorry. Uh, that was all, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really, it's such a weird, yeah. weird case where there's just like, if you really critically think about it and, and not diminishing the victim side of it at no. all, she was victimized, but there's another side of it. That yeah. I just think that has to be looked at a little bit more critically yeah. in order to, you know, I mean, if all of it's true, then man, I, I'm I'm thrilled that that she's been able to to get out of prison. You know, if if all of that's true, and 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 one thing I want to ask you, Tony, because my yeah. wife had said what and it it had changed my entire view of everything. I Allison told me uh that. She believed that one of the last things that Dee Dee had done is that she, like she said that she went into court and got guardianship over her, which would have changed my analysis because when you get a court order saying that you are incapable of taking care of yourself, mm-hmm. it is nearly impossible to get anybody to believe that you're able to say like that would have changed everything. That would have been a situation where I would have been like. You know what? That's almost justifiable homicide because that is like she has now trapped her mm-hmm. potentially for the rest of her life. Sure. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if she fudged some paperwork and gave it to Gypsy. Like, like we were, she was trying to go back and find. Yeah, it. I, I don't know the the answer to that. I I do know that that there was some documents that were fudged because it was alluded to in the documentary. Of yeah, Gypsy. but that was the birth certificate. Like the, birth, the certificate birth certificate was at the Staples. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I don't know the end. It would I'd be shocked if if she didn't have that sort of a guardianship over her. I you know Gypsy yeah. had alluded to that. If, even if the police did, uh, she ran gotten attention from the police, they would just bring her right back because of assuming this guardianship that existed. But if the right. guardianship exists, then what you wouldn't have to to run with the fake age, but she'd been running with it for so long. I guess, you know, where, where does that uh, ever end overall, yeah. just a, a crazy a case, crazy with too case, many questions. Man. And, um, I think the, the only good thing that I got out of that, uh, was that the school ended up firing the, uh, the, the husband, uh, from that <laughs> position. Uh, cause I think if I was uh, a parent of a special needs child and I found out that's the teacher, uh, I would be, uh, livid. Um, same, so. same. Hey, it's Tony Bruschi. If you like the podcast, be sure to like, subscribe and press that bell so you don't miss any of our updates on the cases we're following for you right here at the hidden killers podcast and true crime today and thanks